Hey friends, today we are enjoying the power and the majesty of SE Linux as it shines down upon us peasants as we try to venture on the command line and it just says, no, stop, hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cover everything that you need to know for the R8 CSA exam. So get your notebooks out, your pen, your paper, and write down some notes. But you don't have to because I've got you covered. Check out my blog, a link in the description. It's going, it's all inclusive. It's all you can eat. It's a buffet of SE Linux, if you will. And uh, come one, come all, enjoy. It's free, it's free ride, but you get a free pass on this ride of SE Linux, and we're gonna take it together today. Before we conquer this SE Linux thingy, I'm gonna tell you I oversee, manage hundreds and hundreds of Linux servers, and I only tell you that because what I'm going to show you today fixes probably 95% of the SE Linux issues that I have on the job, so do not be afraid. There is a way forward, and uh, first step is SE status check if it's enforcing if it is enforcing it might be the issue it might not be but uh so let's do set enforce zero and let's do sc status and now you can see that it is permissive if it works now then it's sc linux quick easy and now let's turn it back on set enforce one sc status enforcing so we're good to go to cause some mayhem Next, I would definitely install the SC Troubleshoot server package. It just makes the audit log more human readable and it also provides the SE alert command. So let's do DNF info, SC Troubleshoot server. My musical is coming out next year and it's called SE Linux with pride. Uh, repository at system. This is a rel nine system. So it's installed by default. Check it, check. I do not have to do anything. So let's call some mayhem. Let's do, because we have no errors. Uh, default install nginx. Default install. DNF install. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. Now we have that installed. Vim, etc, nginx, nginx, nginx. Let's jump down, find the ports. There we have them. Uh, let's do 82, 82. Do you have a higher bidder? 82, 82. System CTL enable now. Nginx. Oh no. It says all right here, we can copy paste this and let's paste it. So you would probably start reading here because it's in a red lady in red. Failed to start the Nginx HTTP and reverse proxy server. It does not tell us anything. So see how beautiful this is? It looks nice, looks nice. But here we have it, here we have it. Bind to port 82 failed permission denied. So it tells us everything that we need to know. Now we just need to figure out how to fix it. And how we do that is with se manage port hyphen L and this lists out all the ports we do not want that, so sc manage port hyphen l grep to grab http, and then you can see here's the type. We need to use that later. So port 80, 81, and then 82 is now allowed. So let's do sc manage port hyphen a for add, and then t for type http. You can see the type up there and then do p for port tcp 82 was it and that's all she wrote let's do grep again and then you can see 82 is here let's do system ctl enable now nginx nginx and oh, are we fixing stuff are we fixing stuff now you know how to fix port issues in se linux and let's say you have an issue with a file, which happens sometimes. Let's do vim index.html. And let's just do linux.ninja. Uh, blah. Sweet. Um, so good. Uh, so let's do copy index and let's do user share index nginx html. And what's happening right there, if it works, I should check it out first before I start yabbering away. It works. 
good 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 let's check out the se linux uh, attributes here on nginx html and you can see that it has the same content type as other files and directories here which is good uh, so what happens when you copy a file to a, a directory it actually copies or inherits the se linux attributes from that parent directory um, so let's do move index.html to user share nginx html and overwrite we want to overwrite and we want to curl and it's if for breton share ah the poop is hitting the fan parallel um so how do we fix that good question first let's look at what's happening right here because we moved the file it actually keeps the type that it was it that it had so how do we figure that one out let's do se alert which is a handy tool that comes with the se troubleshoot server packet goose raba breathe in be in the moment my wife's going to be happy with this yes uh, so here we are and se linux is preventing nginx from doing stuff we know that and access to this file great information and it tells us that the default label should be this and it's not so uh how do we fix that we fix that i'm going to tell you a thing for the exam remember this se manage fc context and hyphen l and so how i remembered it remember just se manage and then remember you had port and then the file context and hyphen l and so let's do grep let's do user because that's where we were nginx and let's see what's happening right here because if you're on the exam and you can't remember this reg x there it is copy paste um, so as you can see there is a rule here that everything that's in that directory should get this content type right here and but because i moved it it did not get that content type so there's two easy uh, well there's a, an easier way for you us to fix that and that will be user share nginx because we know the rule uh that it should be applied all you can do right now is actually do restore con and then do verbose just to see what it does and then do index.html that is going to fix the content type for that file another way to fix the content type is se manage file context and then add type and the type is right there http this is content and uh t and then it's the name of the file index.html and let's say that uh, you look at it on the exam or at work and you're like oh, it hasn't changed arman but you have to do remember always do restore con and then verbos index and then you can see that it changed it from admin home and to httpd says content t and so let's do our curl localhost port 82 and we have a blog the last topic that i'm going to cover today are booleans but let me know in the comments if you want me to go into something in more detail explain something better or you have some questions i'll make another video that's not a problem i love you all you know just let me know uh this is really important for the exam so let's do sc manage again and that's do boolean and then hyphen l to list everything let's do grep ftp because that's a common issue uh remember to type in grep so let's say you want to use nfs allow it to use nfs so uh, it's a simple on and off switch. So you do SC set uh, set SC bool and then P for permanent and then on. And so let's do grab that again and use NFS and now it's on. Just remember hyphen P and you're good to go. So I think that covers everything that I wanted to go over today quick and dirty, nice, neat, fast as you like it. I hope it was 
not too long. Um, but check out the blog. There's way more information there. But also let me know in the comments down below if you want me to cover something in greater detail. I would love to. Just let me know. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click, click, and subscribe. Not creepy.